Hey there, YouTube. Whiskey Cactus here, welcoming you back to Animal Crossing. Last time we moved into Cactopia, and we are Whiskey, and that is perfect. And uh, we bought this house. This is our house right here. This is our lovely house. It is not horrifying in the least. There is no blood on the walls or on the floor. I I say that's a win. Um, we bought it from a very very New York, Italian, Philly, whatever, I don't know what the fucking accent I was doing. <laughs> Joey from Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, Slumlord. <laughs> Who I am now indebted to. And uh, that's a little scary. But we owe quite a bit of money on our house and we are now trying to work it off. So we have the town map and we have been tasked to go talk to all of the uh, neighbors. Introduce ourselves to all the neighbors. So we have Chow over here. We have Ellie, Cody, we have Rex, we have Olivia, and down here we have Pate. And um, you're seeing a double-decker, or triple-decker actually, triple-decker town. This is a three-layer town. That is not a common occurrence in Animal Crossing, if I remember correctly. I believe that is actually a very rare thing to have happen. So that's pretty cool. I might have to keep this town forever and ever. My Actually, my original town, the very first town I ever created um, with Animal Crossing way back in 2002, I think, um, was in fact a triple decker town like that. Uh, and then I found out afterward that that was really, really rare. Um, so that's really cool. I'm, I'm hyped. I love it. We got, uh, it's springtime, so there's no good fish around anywhere, really. <laughs> but we got the lake all the way up here. I like that. That's pretty cool. All right, so we gotta go visit uh, all these people and introduce ourselves. So let's do that. I'm an introvert. I don't want to do this at all. Hello there. Are you, are you Ellie the Elephant? You are, in fact, Ellie the Elephant. Good morning. Um, do not call me Wee One. Please and thank you. Oh, Whiskey. I've heard about you. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> she watches my channel. She's one of my 13 subscribers. Oh, dear. You only just moved into Cactopia, didn't you? Well, hi, I'm Ellie. I'm sure you're still getting settled. D interesting thing. Should I read? Because they do talk, but they talk in, like, animalese. So it doesn't actually really say anything. Um, feel free to drop by and say hello sometime. Well, thank you, Ellie. You're very nice. Hello there. You must be Cody. You're a bear. You're a blue bear. What a great morning. Do I know you, Okie Dogie? Hmm. So your name is Whiskey, huh? Call me Cody. Hope we can be pals. You look like an early riser. A little exercise in the morning. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. You, you do not, you do not have me pegged at all, bro. <laughs> all right, who else do I have to meet? Who have I yet to meet? We have, I thought there was, is there a house down here? No, there was somebody, I thought there was somebody right below Oh, they're probably down here, right? Are they down here? Down by the waterfall? This would be a bitchin' place to have a house. I don't know, where are they? I have to go check the map again. Alright, well I know there's somebody over here by the post office. I love the music in this game. You have no idea. That's the dump. That ain't the post office. Somebody over here? Hello there! You must be Chow. You have to be so loud that stomping around and the shouting and yelling. Seriously, I yeah. Who the heck you think you are? No, oh, Whiskey? Me, I'm Chow. Whiskey and Chow, and we're cops. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice to meet you. There, are we done here? Throwing off my day. Alright, already. I'll be your friend. Just don't beg, okay? It's embarrassing. Well, you're a fucking bundle of sunshine. Jesus Christ. All right, where am I? <laughs> I'm at the dump. And also where they dump their trash. Um, let's see. We met Chow. We met Ellie and Cody. There is... Oh, it's on, the, it's on the other side of the bridge. That's it. Okay. So we got Rex over here, and we got Olivia over here. So let's go and talk to them, and then we'll make our way back over to Pate and uh, the mayor, who is supposedly over by the uh, wishing well. So there should be a bridge here. There is, in fact, a bridge here. That's cool. Hello there, Ellie. This is a cool little area. I like this. I would love to fucking live in a place with, like, a lake right next to me. 
That's so cool. All right. Oh, I need a shovel. Hello there, you're a lion. <sighs> Morning. What time is it, cool cat? Really? Ten. I'm not gonna be able to do voices for all these people. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> 10 a.m. already, but I'm still so sleepy. You yeah, see, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy knows what's up. Who are you? Have we met? My name's Rex. Yeah, hi, look, I'm real beat right now, but feel free to stop by and chat sometime. Oh, I will do. I will, in fact, do. You live right next to a fucking waterfall, bro. God. Oh, shiny spot. Don't even forget that that's there. I need to buy that shovel. Need to buy that shovel real soon. Where is the, um... How do I get down? Oh, this is out. Alright, cool. Oh, there's another, uh... Dig spot there. Hello there! Oh, okay. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> oh, you were looking for friends? That's so sad, but I told you, I'm... Alright, alright. So, you're Whiskey. You win, I'll be your friend. I'm Olivia, okay? See you soon. Mm. Fuck you, bitch. You suck. There's a lot of fucking places here to dig. Alright, so we gotta find Pate. We are now at the beach. It's awesome. The beach is super awesome. Let me just look around. See if there's any, uh... Anybody on the beach that I should be paying attention to. Probably not, but you never know. Hello there, Mr. Lighthouse. We have the tailor over here. I can make some fabric if I uh, feel so inclined. Hello, lots of dig spots on the beach. What we got here, we got some fish. I don't have a fishing rod. But hello there, you must be Pate. What up? Morning. I feel so good this morning. I wonder why. Oh, hey, you're new around here, aren't you, Quackle? I'm Pate. Caught me in a good mood, so I think we can be friends, Quackle. Mm. Okay, well... That's nice of you, I suppose. Got the police station. Hello there! Let me see what's going on in here. Hello, Booker. Sure, yes, uh, every item in here is lost. I mean, we don't know who owns them, the items. You can take anything, I think. Well, that's good. <laughs> oh, that's a low lantern. You're damn right that's mine. I, I left it somewhere, and it wound up here. That's great. And what is this? That's a gray tartan? Absolutely. I left that here, too. Imagine that. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. Hello. Oh, that is that is my paw shirt. Hey. I, um, I left that here, too. It's amazing. It's amazing how all the stuff that I left managed to wind up here in the uh, police station. Yeah, thank you for stopping by. <laughs> You're welcome. Cha-ching, motherfucker. That wasn't illegal. I promise. <laughs> Hello there, Tortimer. Hey, what? Who are you? You, uh, whippersnapper. Uh, tell me something. Uh, who do you respect the most? Um, excuse you? <laughs> Uh, my grandmother. Mm, youth, mm, I weep for the younger generation that pains this old heart. Listen to me, Sprout. What's your name? Whiskey, eh? Yeah, I see you're human, aren't you? My name's Tortimer. I'm the mayor here in Cactopia. Yep, very pretty important job. You seem like a good kid. Listen, whenever there's a holiday or some kind of event, come talk to me. I'm sure I'll have some interesting stuff to pass on. Yep, yeah, I surely will. <laughs> All right. Well, we have done our duty and introduced ourselves. Introduced, introduced ourselves to the entire town. And now it is time. Someday I will have this memorized. That day is not today. <laughs> so many dig spots. There's no possible way I can remember all of them. But we will have to go digging at some point. Uh, where is the other up? It is not here. <laughs> I do hope it's on this side of the river. I imagine it probably is. Is it this? Or is this the waterfall? 
Nope, here we go. Alright. Cool. Alright. What do we have over here? Nook, what do you have to say for yourself? I have introduced myself to all the people. So, did you meet everybody in town? Quite a motley crew, eh? The variety's the spice of life, you know. If you don't get along well with the folks here in Cactopia, you'll never fit in, you understand? Never fear, I have a good feeling about you, kid. Now then, what shall I have you do next? Ah, yeah, I need you to deliver some furniture, eh? Alas, it's like you're actually working in the shop. Take this furniture to Rex and make a C4, yeah? It'll be a bang. And don't stop to sniff the roses on the way. Go straight there and come straight back. You wouldn't even know. You're not even programmed to tell time. <laughs> Alright, where was Rex? I don't even remember. That's not, that's not true. I do remember. Uh, not over here. We have to go to this side. Excuse me, Ellie. You're Rex, right? Yeah, you're Rex. Morning, cool cat. What'd you need me for? Um, delivery. DiGiorno. Hey, uh, listen, why are you delivering stuff? Oh, hey. You gotta pay off your home, been there. Well, I don't envy you. Sounds like you got a lot on your plate. I'm trying to mind my own biz, cool cat. I don't want to get involved. I don't want them coming after me, man. <laughs> but if you're still working to pay off your house, you probably haven't bought any furniture yet, huh? Well, hey, I don't need this blue cabinet anymore. I'll tell you what, take it as a gift, cool cat. I like you, Rex. You give me stuff, and you call me cool. Must be a major bummer, huh? Yeah. Pick up some stylish stuff for the pad, cool cat. Yup. As weird as it sounds, I think it's fun to get new furniture. It's like taking a vacation in your house. Moving stuff around is easy. Trust me, I hate the effort. I hate effort. Yeah, I know, I know how to do this stuff, bro. I know how to rotate my furniture. I, I, I get it. I got it, bro. I got it. I got it. I'm a veteran of this game, dude. Don't skip work to do it. <laughs> yeah, guess what? <laughs> guess what I'm about to do. Oh, look. It's my house. And I have new things to put in my house. And fuck Tom Nook. All right. Let's see. What can I do with this blue cabinet? There we go. Love it. It really uh, brightens up the place. Look at this house. You know you want this house. You know you want this house. This gray tartan matches the gray in my fucking heart right now. Jesus. <laughs> this is depressing. <laughs> This is so depressing. Oh my god. Alright. Well, that's fine. I think we should probably go back to uh, Tom Nook and let him know that we've made our delivery. Hello there! Welcome back, worker bee. Looks like you delivered the furniture. Nice work. Did a good job, so I figured that earns you uh, 230 bells. Not bad wages, eh? Well, I don't really know what the inflation rate is and what that 230 bells can buy at the moment, so... <laughs> On to your next task. Eh? What's that? You say it's too difficult to try to find things without a map? Honestly, kids these days and their constant complaints. When I was just a little raccoon, I, uh... Never mind. Okay, okay, here's a map. Press the X button to look at it. It should serve your needs just fine, eh? Your next job is to write some copy for direct mailing. You know, sort of a ad personal advertisement. I want you to send it to Ellie, who lives in the Acre somewhere in row B. This is good business. Ellie is a very loyal customer. So this is a notice for a special sale. As for what you write, well, I'll just leave it up to you, Whiskey. But try to make it exciting. Oh, and you might want to think about introducing yourself as Whiskey, who works for me, yeah? You can use a stationery to write the letter. Alright, well. Go to the post office to mail the letter, eh? You'll find the post office in Acre A1. Now hurry back, huh? Alright, well, we're gonna write this letter. And we need to write it to Ellie. To Ellie! Oops. Motherfucking sale! Motherfucking. Oh, I did that wrong. <laughs> 
There we go. Motherfucking sale. Where's caps lock? There we go. <laughs> how do I do a uh, carriage return? That's how. Motherfucking sale. Spend money. Oh, I need a keyboard. <laughs> this is way too tedious. Spend. Dollar sign. Where's the fucking dollar sign? How ain't there a dollar sign? Or am I just blind? That's crazy. They have, they have fucking logical operators and mu. <laughs> but they don't have a goddamn dollar sign? Are you kidding? Alright, fine. Spend money. Awesome. That will totally work. <laughs> that is a fantastic, fantastic advertisement. I am going to put this in the mail immediately. And Ellie will come buy all the things from your shop. I promise. Hello there, Pelly. Good day, how can I help you? Uh, mail a letter. This fantastic letter. Ah, yes, I see. Would you like to mail more letters? I don't even have more letters. Really? Come back any time. Alright, well, I will do that. Although, right now, I want to make my, uh, background lit af. Man, that's fucking flames. Hmm. And they all unsubscribed. <laughs> okay. How was that, Tom? Was that good? Are you proud of me? Did you send a letter? Good job. Took you longer than I'd have liked, so I'll have to dock you a bit. How's the 130 bells sound? You scree you're breaking my balls, Tom. You're breaking my fucking balls. Glad you got it done. After all, you can't even write a letter. You're gonna have problems in this town. Yeah, well, I uh, haven't actually prepared the next package I need you to deliver. I'm a bit behind. It'd be a waste for you to just hang around here and wait for me, so why don't you go help out the villagers? You may find you can do a little better working for them than you can for me, but not much better, eh? Don't go working for nobody else or I'll break your fucking kneecaps. Be sure to come back here after a bit. Don't make me find you. Alright. Well, hello there, Cody. Do you have anything for me to do? Now officially 1045. Okay, well, thank you. I didn't even ask. I need work. Yes, I've been looking for someone to help me out. Chow had a total fashion emergency. I, I can totally see Chow having a fashion emergency. That fucking bag of sunshine. What do we got? I just thought these might be the... Okay, well, I will, I will happily give him the clothes that you ordered. I can absolutely do it. Uh-huh. Sure thing. Do 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 do. All right, where is Chow? Chow's over by the post office, I think. Right. What's up, my man? In fact, the same morning as last time. Yeah. Well, I have a fucking delivery for you, so shut the fuck up. Take this. Where you get off getting someone else to deliver your stuff for you? Oh, you look stunning. <laughs> you look stunning. Uh-huh. Gonna drive the chicks wild. I'm no charity case. Take this. Oh, I got some money. 213 bells. Okay. <laughs> well, it is 2001. So, uh, what the fuck? You can... I'm... Well, you know, I may be dumb. But I'm not a dweeb. I'm just a sucker with no self-esteem. Hashtag. Uh, where is Ellie? Hello there, Ellie. Do you have anything for me to do? 
Must have had some reason for coming to see me. Uh, give me a job. Let me think. Oh, I've got it. A while back, I lent my camera to Rex. You know who that is. You are so lazy. <laughs> you are so lazy because Rex is literally right here. Hello, Rex. Where are you at? My man. My man. You got it. You got the, the camera of a fucking elephant. Uh, picking up. Yes, I am. Oh, Jesus. I, I, I suppose... Oh my god, really? <laughs> what has this game become? Oh, fucking bitch. Fucking bitch cat over here. Alright, we got a, we got a bridge. We got a br we don't, oh that's right, they, ha they have to build the bridge later. Forget when that happens. There comes a time when they build another bridge. But that's not for a while. Alright, Pate, where are you at? Uh, nope. You over here? You are over here. Hello there! Do you by chance have a camera? Fresh as a daisy? You got a camera? I absolutely could. I get the feeling Ellie didn't even know that you had it. Okay then, great, cool. I will do- I will happily do that. Ugh. I'm just an errand boy. That's all I'm doing this whole game. Running around, giving things to people, and let's be real. That's what a lot of this early game is. <laughs> By all means. Alright. Well, I have the goods. Give me something for my troubles, Ellie. Please and thank you. So many X marks the spot places. Hello there! I have your camera. So, what can I do for you? Uh, delivery. We got a camera. One camera for you. You really are amazing. Oh, you're so nice. Take these clothes, okay. What up? I mean, I can't change out of my uniform right now because I'm on the clock, but... It's so nice. She's so nice. Vertigo shirt. And uh, big dot shirt. Oh. Yeah, the big dot shirt is what was back here. Right? Yeah. And then what is the vertigo shirt? Oh god, that's gonna give me a headache. <laughs> we need to go back to flames. Love it. Okay. What up, Nook? Are you ready yet? What up, Nook? Were you able to help anybody out? Any animal? Oh, sorry. Were you able to help anybody out? Anybody out? Many animals need things, eh? You get anything good in return? The critters in town are all fairly generous. So your work never goes unrewarded. That's quite nice, isn't it? Next, I need you to deliver a nice carpet for me. And don't dilly-dally along the way, huh? I'll break your fucking kneecaps. Take this carpet to Cody, eh? Just because I'm not watching you doesn't mean I can't... It doesn't mean you can stop and chit-chat with folks you meet along the way. Don't make me come find you. And again, there's no way I can keep tabs on you. Just try not to gab too much. Tell me when you're done. I don't trust you, man. I don't trust you. Alright. Where is, uh, Cody? You were- oh, right there. Right, literally right here. Okay. <laughs> uh, delivery for you. Here is a nice carpet. Oh yeah, parte. I have no idea how badly I've been wanting this. Cody wants that carpet. Once I get this carpet down, I'm gonna have the smoothest pad ever. Be Dr. Popular MD. Mmm. <laughs> Dr. Popular MD. Alright, if you want a cool place, you have to coordinate your rug and your wallpaper. You telling me that I gotta match the curtain and the drapes or the whatever? <laughs> Carpet and the drapes? Try changing your rug. I don't have a rug, I just have stone. Hard fucking stone. Alright, well I get your carpet. That's great. Okay, what was your carpet? Stumbled onto this at the Nookerator's place. Alright, well... Okay. Live and learn. Yeah, if somebody had bought it before me, I'd never have known. Cool that Tom changes his product line every day. Alright, well, that's fine. Yeah, you gotta buy stuff from Nook so it'll expand the shop and get more stuff. Alright. What do we got here? Uh, stone tile. Great. <laughs> that's fantastic. 
That is just what I needed. Hello there, Nook. What up? Welcome back, dear employee. Very good. Yes, looks like you're finally getting the hang of things around here. Well, you work. Be happy to have you working here full time. Wouldn't that be a treat? No, thank you, please. In any case, I can see you're putting a lot of effort into your work, so this time I'll give you 580 bells. Next, I need you to deliver an axe. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Don't fuck with Nook, man. He's got axes on axes. Be, be careful with it, eh? Wouldn't want you to fall and hurt yourself. Until you paid off my fucking... Uh, he's, he's showing me he's got an axe. <laughs> Just to put the fear of God in me. Now, the stuff you deliver is wrapped, so you couldn't use it even if you wanted to. So don't get any ideas, huh? You want to cut down any trees, you'll have to get your own axe. Very good, then. Give it your best shot. Tell me when you're done. <laughs> Nook's got a fucking axe. Alright. Where are you at, Ellie? You over the bridge still? You over here? There you are. What you gonna do with this axe, Ellie? <laughs> oh, thank you. What a hard worker you are. <laughs> Motherfucking sale, spend money. Everyone here in Cactopia just loves getting letters. Me personally, I like getting letters so much that I save them all. I know a lot of village folk do the same. Sometimes we even show them to our neighbors or visiting travelers. We like letters that much, so don't write anything embarrassing. <laughs> Who knows where life might take me. Someday I might move to another town. And I'll take my letters with me. You never know, I might even show my new friends in some other town your old letters. <laughs> so you'd best be sure not to write anything you want to keep private, we won. Okay, well... Good to know the big brother's always watching me. Hello there, Nook. Am I done working for you yet? Welcome back. Nice work. Yes, very good, yes. Now let's see, that tour earned you a solid 230 bells. What to do? Your next job will be... Now I remember. You've seen the bulletin board in front of your house, haven't you? Well, I want you to write an ad for my shop on that bulletin board. You get foot traffic around there, yeah? You can write whatever catchy slogan you like, just make sure it sounds exciting. And don't write anything that might embarrass me or I'll break your fucking kneecaps. Once you write something on it, you can never erase it. Well, off you go. Let me know when you're all done, huh? Alright, well. We are gonna write something that in no way embarrasses Tom Nook. Okay, we are gonna add a message. Tom Nook. Totally. Is not in the Mafia. <laughs> Totally. I think that's good. <laughs> what do you think, Nook? You agree? You good, Nook? Nooky bag of donuts? What up? Welcome back. Did you put a buzz gener generating ad up there? <laughs> Something animals will talk about over the water cooler? You bet I did. Very good, yes. I suppose, uh, that means... Uh, yeah, you're all done! All the work I hadn't gotten around to is now all done. How wonderful for me. Since I don't have any more work for you to do, I'm afraid I have no choice but to let you go. Rest of your mortgage? Of course you gotta pay it all off. That's how life works. Let me just have a look at my records here, eh? Yeah, so far you worked off a total of 1,400 bells. So you'll have 17,400 bells left to pay. Not exactly a sum to sneeze at, huh? Since there's no more work for you here, you gotta figure out how to pay it off on your own. Now, how could a youngster go about making some bells? I suppose running errands for the villages. Selling things you no longer need, too, huh? That should generate some cash flow, I should think. If you got stuff to sell, just come talk to me. I'll give you a very fair price for anything you got. Believe me. And when you want to make a mortgage payment, do it at the post office for me. Tax purposes, you know? 
It's fucking laundering money back there. <laughs> the store is just a front. You can pay off about a thousand bells a week. That'll work for me. Otherwise, I'll send for the raccoon goons. I see. Look, did he just a joke? Uh huh. I got ways of making you pay up. Once you pay it all off, we can talk about remodeling the place for you. That house you got now is pretty small, after all, and I'm sure you'd like a little more room, yeah? Well, thanks for your help. I hope you'll come see me for all your future shopping needs, huh? And if you don't, I'll break your fucking kneecaps. Well, alright, yes! I'm finally done working. I'm free. I'm free. Well, guys, I think... This is a very good time to go ahead and end off this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Next time, we are going to uh, explore town. We are no longer um, in... Well, we're still in debt. <laughs> but we are no longer under the employment of uh, Nookie Bag of Donuts. So um, we will go ahead and start doing some new things. And uh, maybe buying some stuff at the shop. I don't know yet. Haven't really decided. But we will find that uh, out next time. So thank you guys. Uh, make sure you're subscribed for future episodes of Animal Crossing as well as whatever else is happening on the channel right now. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.